G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean. Uh, if you're new here and you're wondering what I talk about, I talk about tech, uh, I do tutorials, unboxings, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to use your iPad as an external monitor or a second monitor to your PC and Mac. Um, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any other future videos, hit the subscribe button down below and let's begin. Alright guys, so let's get started with this tutorial on how to use your, your iPad as an external monitor. So the first thing you need to do um, is go into the App Store on your iPad and you need to look for an app called Duet Display. Um, so I'll just type in Duet Display and look for that app and you'll have an option to download it. Now, I'd like to mention that this app is a paid application. It costs about $15 for the app and it's a one-time purchase. Considering uh, the cost of an external monitor and everything else, um, I think $15 is a fair price to pay for turning your iPad into a monitor. So go ahead and buy it if you wanna buy it. Um, I've already gone ahead and done that, so it's gonna give me the option here for open and I've gone ahead and clicked open. So now what it's actually saying on the screen is connect to your Mac or PC. So what we need to do uh, on the PC side of things is we need to go to um, your web browser so you can open up Chrome for example and you'll need to download the Duet Display application for your PC. If you've got a Mac, there's a Mac version for you as, a, as well. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the PC version as I'm using Windows 10 Pro and install that program which should hopefully take you just a few minutes. Once you've got the application installed uh, you need to go ahead and double click on Duet to make sure that the program is launched in the background. Um, I've already got that set and if you do have it installed you can go ahead and you can change some of the settings. So the frame rate and the performance. Obviously if you are running this from a laptop maybe you will choose the energy efficient mode and maybe even lower the frame rate as well. But as I'm on a PC right now, um, I'm gonna leave it all set to the high power and the 60 frames per second. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and essentially close down the application. And using a USB to lightning cable, we're just gonna go ahead and plug it in straight to the PC. So it's not done wirelessly or anything like that. It's all done over wire, um, all through that lightning to USB cable. Um, it might automatically open up iTunes, so if it does do that, just go ahead and close iTunes. And then what we can see here is we've got the desktop of the PC um, going to the iPad as well. So, for example, if I open up my file explorer, I can drag that from the right onto the iPad, and essentially now I've got the iPad to be used as an external screen. So it's really great. Maybe you're a Twitch streamer or a YouTuber, and you need to have a second monitor for when you're doing live streams or you're doing some productivity, maybe some Excel or Word, um, and you just need some more, some more space for your applications. Okay guys, so now that you've seen that tutorial, you know now how to use an iPad as an external monitor with your PC or Mac. If you have any questions at all, make sure you leave them down below. Uh, if you did like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If it uh, didn't apply to you, you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. You can always reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.